everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be revamping another free item from the Facebook Marketplace. This is the third time we're doing this, but this time we're gonna do a little twist on it. As you probably saw in the title, you guys are going to be choosing how I flip it. So that's the color, that's the design, that's the handles. It's gonna be up to you guys over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram already, you might wanna go and do that, because I, if this, if you guys like this, we'll do it again in the future. I'm so excited because like, I am the most indecisive person ever. So like the fact that you guys are gonna be deciding these things for me, like this just couldn't get better. Like I am so excited. Like I love flipping things, but then like I hate making decisions. So this is perfect. As you can probably see, or I guess not see, the Facebook piece is in here. Here is what we are going to be flipping. It's, this is gonna take a little bit of woodworking to start off. So I decided to just do it over there because I don't want to get wood chips all over everything. This is what it looks like. It's actually like an old school TV unit. It looks a lot bigger in this picture than it actually is in real life, to be honest. Like it definitely would hold a more old school with the big box TV. You probably know what I'm talking about. The first decision that you guys have to make is if you think I should leave it all together or if you think that I should cut it off. I have a picture of kind of what I'm talking about over here. I found it on Pinterest. So it's like the TV unit, much like the one we have. And then they chopped off the spot that is the size of the TV and then you can leave it as a TV unit or you can add legs and then it's like a console. I personally, if I was deciding, I would chop it, but it doesn't matter what I want. So I'm gonna go over to Instagram and ask you guys what you think. I'm first just gonna make a story explaining what we're doing. All right, you guys, exciting stuff today. My Instagram followers flip my free item. So excited! <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna add a little picture just so people know what they're voting on. Also, someone just DM'd me that they could see my hair. Like, I've been keeping my hair because I like cut bangs. My hair, I've been keeping it a secret and I just blew it on my story. <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever. I can't keep this secret any longer, okay? So I put it up. We will see what you guys vote on. This is probably the only thing that I actually have a preference on. Also, I can't believe I gave away my hair. <laughs> so stupid of me, but whatever. Time to go. Okay, you guys, I just got to the storage unit. It's probably been a fair while now, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you have to go home? Isn't there a washroom? There's no washroom. They closed it for COVID. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, well, I'll see you in a bit then. Yeah, I'll be back as quick as I can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyway, it's been about 20 minutes since I checked, so I'm gonna just go with whatever it is after about 10 to 20 minutes, just because I feel like it probably wouldn't change too much, and obviously I can't wait a whole day for every single one, just because I'm doing it right now. <laughs> All right, we have a 64% chop off the dated frame, 36% want to leave it. So I'm actually really happy with that ratio because sometimes it's like 51 to 49 and then it feels like you're pleasing nobody. This is great. There's like a pretty, pretty big 64%. I think that's decent. Oh, it just switched to 63%. Anyways, whatever. The majority wants me to chop it off. So I suppose that is what we will do, which means I have a lot of work to do. So let's chop this frame. All right, so here is the unit in person. As you can see, it's probably a lot smaller than you would have thought. Here I am standing, I'm five foot five. It's a little unit, which basically really, really limits what you can put right here. Like it would have to be more of an old school or like a smaller TV. So I like that you guys chose to chop it off. That's what I would personally have chosen as well. We're gonna go about chopping it off. It's gonna be very difficult because this piece is like all attached. So we've got to kind of destroy it. So hopefully we don't wreck it in the meantime. This top bit is a lot nicer than this top. So if we're ripping all of this out, we may as well take this top and glue it down to the top. Top, 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 top.
zone. Oh. Oh. Okay, so now that that is pretty much taken care of, I have the drawer, or not the drawers, the doors right here. And as you can see, there's kind of like this little detailing in here. So I was thinking this doesn't really match the vibe that we're going for. So I saw a few different ideas on Pinterest and also I saw one on a YouTube video that works with like these wooden dowels that you can paint or stain depending I guess on what you guys choose. But I was thinking, should I put it on either straight or all like zigzag and craziness? Here are the two options on the screen. As you can see, this top one's very fun. This is from another YouTube video I saw, which I'll link down below. And then this one's from Pinterest. They're just all straight lines. Again, one looks a lot easier than the other, but at the end of the day, it'll be up to you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to take a picture of this front of the door, and then I'm going to put the two options beside it, maybe I should give a little bit of room. So I'm saying, what wood art should I do on the door fronts? Option one or option two? Okay, so there's the story. Hopefully this is like explaining enough. It's basically the difference between a bunch of diagonal lines meeting or straight lines. I don't really have a preference. I don't know, I think both look really fun. So you can't really lose with this one. I just posted that on my story. I'll leave it for like 20 minutes and then we'll be back to work on these. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check what you guys were voting for. Initially, the vote was definitely favoring the zigzaggy one and sure enough, 69% of people want the zigzags versus the stripes. So that's a little bit of extra work, but I think it'll pay off, so let's start it, I guess. <laughs> See how it goes. So with this, I just have these wooden pieces, and then I also have like this little saw thing that helps me do like perfect angles. I am not at all an expert, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, so. I'm shaking the whole table. Okay, now just a little piece of sandpaper. Now, I'm doing this like it's a tutorial, but I don't know if you guys are trying this at home. I'll do a montage soon, but just for the first one, I want to show you. So I'm thinking we'll start it off like this, lined up. I don't want to take the hinges off because I don't want there to be problems when I go to open it. So I'm just going to line it up as good as my eye can tell and then do the line right here. There we go. So I just marked it. Now cutting again. Now, if me, someone with zero upper body strength can do this, you can bet you can do it too. There we go. So there's the first piece. Um, I'm going to nail it in place with a power tool. There we go. So I'll have to fill those holes, but here is the start. And now I just gotta keep going on both the door fronts. Let's go. next day I decided to wear the exact same outfit I'm not really sure why but okay we're in this room that we always do these flips in but if you'll notice very sad the Bob Ross painting has been painted over this room was getting so cluttered and so messy and with having so much going on on the wall it was just like closing in so finally my mom and I decided better paint over it I miss it to be honest but I'm also like really happy that it's covered <laughs> I can still like kind of see the mountain peak in it just because there's so much texture still on the wall but yeah okay but as you can see I have the unit behind me I'm so impressed with how it's turning out like it's actually so nice yeah, this is actually a shovel it's turning out really good like I'm super excited about it one thing that we did without mentioning it is this was kind of like wavy right here and we just cut it into a straight angle I think it'll just look more modern but I have two 
paint options here. Now, I was trying to figure out how to do this because on Instagram, when you ask like a poll, you only have two options. So I think I'm gonna ask two questions to figure out the base color. First question is, do we want light paint or dark paint? And then whichever wins from that, I'll section these off or section these off and we'll choose between that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this story. I'm gonna take a picture of those. Okay, now I have to try and explain what it is, okay? Okay, I think that kind of makes sense. I wanna see what the first vote is. One vote for light? I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, light is winning? Right now there's 11 votes for light and nine votes for dark. Okay, so dark's catching up because like you guys have been obsessing over this green. I assumed the minute you guys had a chance to choose, it would be this or nothing. I was actually not expecting light to win. Like, I'm hoping dark wins. I guess we'll see. I'll see you guys in like 15 minutes and we'll see what everybody's voting. <gasps> Whoa, now dark's winning. 50 for light, 68 for dark. Okay, it's too close. I can't watch it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and we are at 44% for light and 56% for dark so dark one which I'm actually really 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 happy about really 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 <laughs> I'm just happy because like I feel like every time I do one of these I paint it white so this is good so now we just have to choose between soapstone and bayberry so it's like a charcoal and a green I'm gonna go ahead and make another story dark one so now choose between the two dark colors. There we go. So I think that should be pretty straightforward. I'm only gonna leave this one for probably like 10 minutes or so just because I really want to get painting. Right now we have one vote for charcoal and four votes for green. So green is winning. <gasps> now we have 12 for charcoal, 16 for green. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like watching a race. All right, you guys, I'm being impatient. I don't know how long it's been. I wanna just see. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so close. Okay, it's been 11 minutes. 53% for green, 47 for charcoal. Oh my gosh, that was close. But the green is the winner. So we shall paint it green. I'm so excited to finally use this green. I feel like I've said this already, but every video you guys are like, use the green, use the green. So it's very fitting for it to have won. And I think it'll look really good on here. So this is also nice because it's kind of a dark color over a dark wood. So I don't know if it'll take too many coats. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Now I know you guys like hate when I don't paint the inside of drawers, but like this one's not gonna get seen until you open it and it's a lot of paint. So I'm just gonna leave these two not painted, but I will paint the inside of this one obviously because it'll get seen. Okay, so there is the first coat. Now I'm gonna let it dry, but while I do that, I might try and figure out how you guys want the doors done. Okay, so here are the finished doors. Yesterday I had to do some filling of the staple holes, but it's all good now with filling the staple holes. I used polyfilla to fill it. So I was initially thinking that we could stain this, but now with this poly in here, I'm a little bit worried that when I stain, that'll like the poly will grab all the stain and we'll have like dark dots. So I think it'd be smartest to just paint it. I have an inspo pick that I kind of like. Like I really like the way that that looks. So I'm thinking with this design, if we pick three different colors, we could make it look kind of inspired by that. I don't have a ton of different colors of paint but I have two options set out that I think would be pretty good so in option number one I have black gray and white which I think would go well with the green and then with option number two it's a little bit more light and airy and it has a little bit more color to it we have like a taupe and then kind of like a warmer taupe and then a pebble gray I don't know I think both will look decent both a very different vibe though so I'm gonna set up these and uh, we'll see what you guys choose. Okay, so let me take a picture of these. Which color set would... 
on the door. I just posted that. Like obviously I wish you guys could choose every single color, but that would literally be like so many different polls that I have to do. So hopefully this is good enough. I always like to see what the first votes are. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have six votes for the first set and five votes for the second set. Literally so close. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes and it looks like set one has won. So that is neutral one is out. Can okay, feel pretty good about this, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't know if this is gonna clash. I mean, you guys would know better than me and you chose it, so we'll trust it. So now a concern I had after looking at this was like, how am I going to paint in these like crevices? But then I was looking and I was like, well, that's pretty close in color. So maybe if I just take a really thin brush and just go through all of those before I start painting, then that won't be a problem. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly with this color because it's closest to the wood. And I'll also go around the sides and then we'll get painting the fun stuff. Like I'm basically trying to figure out, should I put the colors close to each other or all randomly and based on what I see that I like I think I should put them far away from each other so I'm just gonna start with this color and this is also the base color and I guess I'm just going to paint and just try not to overthink it basically don't overthink it just do it and then if it's bad you can repaint it <laughs> drying and now I have two options for hardware they're very different you guys probably have seen this one before if you watched my last makeover one I used it on the pink dresser and then there's also this one it's like a heavy black metal more like handle whereas this one's like a littler handle I think this one might look a little bit better like just looking at it on here but I don't think you can go wrong let me pose that okay that story is uploaded all right I'll be back in 20 you know the drill. Well, 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 with 63% we got this. So now it's the decision of here or here. For some reason I'm liking the high up. What mm. do you think? I think high up's good. I don't think but you I can like go middle wrong. too. <laughs> Okay, you guys, the finishing touches are on. It's all together. Honestly, it looks amazing. I think it would serve perfectly as a TV unit, and Mama Maples has actually been looking for a TV unit, and I think this would work perfectly. So I'm gonna set it up there, but I just did like a little setup. Like, look, you guys did that. Your choices, they paid off. But now let's put this to use. We are in my mom's basement. This is going to be the, I guess, permanent resident of the new TV stand. This is their TV stand right now. It's really nice. The only thing with it is, as you can see, there are no departments to hide anything. So if you have a mess, it's in the open. So that's something I like about the new one. There's, there's some drawers where you can like put games or consoles or whatever and then no one will see them. All the cords will be hidden. So I'll probably put this up on Facebook Marketplace for free just to like replace that one. So let's clear it out. Let's switch it up. guys look at all these cords I'm trying to work through <laughs> whoops I didn't know that our cords were gonna get <laughs> exposed today wow this is gonna be way better I oh a hundred percent better 
Me, yeah, I can just see already. We'll go to turn something on today and it'll be like, ah, uh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, what a mess of cords hidden. Wow, it literally looks so much better. So much better. Ew, how much cleaner it looks, you guys. Like with all the cords and everything hidden. And the pink? in it kind of ties in with all these pink like blankets and pillows and stuff. Totally. Oh my, I love it. Yeah, I'm more interested in Chip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think of the new TV stand? Oh, high five, he loves it. All right, you guys, I can honestly say this has been my favorite. We can contribute it to the fact that you guys chose everything and it turned out literally perfectly like we had a perfect place for it it's been such a help it's made everything a lot cleaner the literal colors match this room perfectly like could not be better you guys are perfect that being said this was a ton of work but it was so so much fun i really had fun having your guys's input in it if you guys would like to see more videos like this make sure to let me know down below this is also a series on my channel if this is the first time you've ever watched a video like this on my channel i've done two or three other ones i think maybe just two i'll link them at the end of this video if you haven't got your fill of flipping free items as you guys know i love doing videos like this i really hope you guys enjoyed as well well, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!